Hi everyone, this is Yoon. I'm the creative director of Ambush. My childhood was quite hectic, I think, because we moved around a lot. My mom put me in so many after-school activities because I think she wanted to see what I naturally kind of gravitate towards. I don't think you have that aha moment in life. I think it's just about the curiosity that just sparks something in you and then you get thirsty and you go seek what that is. And then just kind of like gathering whatever I can to find what will be the, the pathway to the next thing. Junior year, that's when I kind of got introduced to fashion world. I was like, oh, there's a huge world with like, you know, all these beautiful people and beautiful things. And I'm like, I don't know where that is. Let me find a way to like get out there and be part of that somehow. I was like working with a lot of corporate graphic design. And after a few years, it gets really boring. And I was like, okay, maybe it's time to move into big city. And Verbo was asking me around that time, like, why don't you move to Tokyo to see if you kind of like what's out here? So I was like, okay, let me, let me just kind of go see, test it out. Um, and I've been stuck here like 25 years. <laughs> I got exposed to so many like different type of people that I was not exposed to back in the US. I was like really involved in the club culture as well. People who've been following Ambush for a while, they know what pow those rings were. Literally we made it for fun just to give it out to friends because we're partying so much. Like we you know everyone wants something like new to wear to the party. Through that, I think that's when I realized like fashion could be something that really, you know, can bring like energy and life to people. And like, you know, just all these things just gave me so much energy. And, and, and from there, I think everything started to kind of naturally progress into like what I'm doing now. For me, I kind of kept it open, like whatever came my way, I wanted to kind of take on so I can kind of learn how to do it. If I get paid to learn something, I think, you know, I think it would be a good experience. To me, like when opportunity gets presented in front of me, I can learn something new about it. It doesn't work, like you can always walk from it, it's not the end of the world. It wasn't even a brand at this stage. It's almost like you made a song for fun and then it becomes a hit. Like, do you stay as like one hit wonder? Do you really want to pursue this seriously as like, you know, career? We're just like, let's give it a try. And then, okay, we're gonna do this properly as a brand. And that was around 2012. Resilience means showing up. No matter what you think the outcome's gonna be, you just show up. You know, I think it's easy for people to look at the outcome, but I don't think a lot of people realize like how grassroots everything was. But those things all help to like help us to become better business people. Although we started as a jewelry brand, um, we got into apparel and then we also did so many th different things. Like I look at Ambush as like a creative platform that we can kind of exercise different things. There's so many different products and things that I do work on because I'm just by nature, I'm very curious. I want to learn. And the best way to, you know, kind of like devil in it is to collaboration. And, and, and that's where we are. For creative people, I always tell like, best thing is to stay curious because you stay open, you, you're exposed to much more experiences and that's where you like gain the different level of you know knowledge that's not textbook based, right? Because you lived and learned those things and all these things become the best alchemy for, you know, journey.